Hello everyone, I'm Carolyn from Nona's Nutty Crafts and today we're going to be making a Halloween window display that you can hang on your door, put it on the entry, wherever you want to hang it. But this video today is going to be a collaboration video and what that means, I have gone in with two other people. I've gone on with Melissa's from Buckeye's Wreath and Things and Crystal from Electric Pandemonium and we're collaborating and kind of putting our Halloween videos together so you can kind of see a collection of three different videos. So I am going to show you what I'm making. Now what I did, I found this frame and this frame actually came with this wreath on the center. And I took it off because I really like the frame. Now it has hang ties already up at the top, you know, like the these little ones like this, whoops, that you, you know, nail in. And it already came with those up at the top. So I'm going to leave those to let the customer or whoever chooses to buy this to do it. And this is my little gnome kitty cat. And this is what, um, by Derica's Designs. This is handmade. Now I've already put him in. I'm going to glue him so he faces more in like this instead of out. So he has his gnome. He has his little whiskers, little pink ears. And we're going to put a little something something on his um, hat today or hers, I guess, because it's a pink ear. Got a little witch's broom. We're going to, you know, do something with the tail, maybe hang it over the top of this so that you can see it more often like that or something or glue it. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. So let's get started. Now, I picked out some things I wanted to use. So we're going to see how we're going to use this. Now I wanted to go ahead and make like a window balance. So I had some extra fabric just like this, this candy corn fabric and it has green, red and has some fuchsia pink dots in there to pick up on the ears and all. And what I did, I've already pre-sewn it around and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this going across the top on the back side. Now I probably should have done this before I put my cat on, but that's okay. Gotta make sure good sides out. So I'm just going to measure it so it's kind of even, so, you know, it looks nice from the back. And what I'm going to do, because we're going to gather up the center piece here, so I'm going to put a little ribbon there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to take, oops, let me take my pencil. And I'm just going to mark where the center is so that way I can see it just a little bit, you know, from my when I put my ruffle on here. And this has staple marks in here, so I don't wanna, cause I'm gonna use the staple and the glue gun. So I wanna make sure I get it, you know, as even as possible. So what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna put any glue right here in the center because I'm gonna run some ribbon up there, okay? So let's just start, I'm gonna start right at the corners a little bit and put some glue. We'll go as far as we can, close to the center, but not on it. Stretch it across and glue it. There we go. I'm put my little happy finger on. There we go. I'm gonna skip where I marked it there. Oops, there's some got glue over there. And I'm gonna come up on the other side. Just glue this far to the edge and the little pieces at the edge, I'll get those just a few minutes now you can do this any which way you want as far as if you want to do it like a regular balance you know in there um crinkle it up we're going to gather it up in the middle just to give it some get that piece of glue these are great these are silicone finger guards they call them because you don't burn your fingers and then you can peel it right off so the excess glue here i don't want that showing so voila so right now we have a curtain that looks like that so what i want to do is i'm just going to gather this up in the middle and i have this little decorative ribbon and i'm using this so it kind of blends in now you can use whatever you want i'm just going to take a little piece of this i'm going to cut some of this off only you probably need about that much now, if you wanted to put, I could put it on the um, top side of this. However, um, you want to think your cat is looking in or looking out the window. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is this. I'm going to gather this up. Just 
just like crinkle it up. And I'm gonna take my ribbon and where I remember where I, I left the space so I can thread my ribbon through. I probably should have done that right now before I gathered it so I could see it. Oh, it's all on. Did it come through? There we go. Let me put my little piece of ribbon there and then we'll gather this up again. So let's gather it up. Take that off <laughs> so I can feel the fabric better. And all I'm gonna do is just fold this around and I'm gonna gather it. Now before I glue it, before I do it, I wanna turn it around and make sure this is kind of how I want it hanging make sure I could pull the fabric in a little bit later you know if I wanted it not as tight up there if I want to pull it down a little bit I think I like it just like that so where's my end piece and we're just going to glue these to each other let me get my happy finger back on Put a little glue on top. Bring this piece around and then press them together. So see the ribbon blends in because it's gonna be from behind, you're not gonna see it. Now if I did it on the front side, if I were to put this on this side, I probably would have done a little bit different so that way the ribbon, you would see the ribbon a little bit more. And there we go. We have our balance, voila. So let me turn this around to me. So it looks like a little bow up there. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. All right. So the next part, what I want to do before, again, I do anything with gluing my cat, I'm going to put a bow right here. So I want to make the bow next, okay? I have a little iron spider we're going to put in the cat's hat as if it's crawling down. Aren't they so creepy? I have this pumpkin that we can use. I have some little... This, I, I'll take out some of these acorns and stuff. I have some of these guys we can use. So we have a variety, a variety of stuff. And I have some curly cues that if we wanna stick some of those in, just to give it some little sparkle there. So let's go ahead and take our cat and we're just gonna set our cat down right here. I'm gonna pull out our easy bow maker. And we're gonna get our ribbons going here. Now I chose three different ribbons here. This is the same. And I'm gonna put this on the bottom. Now with the candy corn fabric, we say we have candy corn ribbon to match with that. The polka dots do really good. There's a lot of polka dots in here. And then we have the spooky little ribbon here. It has candy corn spiders, pumpkins, you know, and spider webs all in there as you can see. So those are the three ribbons that we're gonna to use today. So we're going to start with the green one. Okay, I'm going to put this over there. And we're going to do, when we, I said like a little whimsical, you're going to see how we're going to do it. Now I'm going to put this at an 8-inch tail right now, slide my ribbon down there, and flip it. Now depending how big I want the bow to be, we're going to do 5 inches. Well, let's do six inches. So we're gonna do this one at six inches here. So we're gonna have one tail, we're gonna bring this one down. One like this, and one tail's gonna go up here. So we said we're making the tails eight inches. So we have a little whimsical bow just like this. So you have one tail up, one loop up, one tail down, one loop down. So it looks like a cross, okay? Can you see that? Tail, loop, tail, loop. Okay. So I'm going to take our our next color that we want to use. And we're going to do this opposite. So here's my loop from the last one. So this one's going to have the tail on top. And I'm going to leave it at eight inches. And we're going to make this loop here. Oops. Come here, loops. Now you can choose whatever ribbons and stuff you want to do. I'm still going to keep this one at six inches. And I'm going to do six inches on this one. 
a lot. So now where the tail was here, we're going to put a loop there. Where the bow is here, it's going to be a tail. We're going to put these two. Oops, wrong place. We're going to have a tail there and a loop here. So again, we're opposites, okay? And that's how we're going to make our funky little bow. And we're just going to keep repeating this design as we go. Just doing opposites. Actually, let me use this one first. So now we're going, so it went tail, loop. Now we're going to do tail. I know I'll probably use all of this, so let's just take it off of the spool. And so I'm going to make a little shorter, so I'm going to make this one at five inches. Okay, so we're going to put him on top, this one here. Cut these about seven inches. I should have cut that one at seven, but that's okay. So again, so I'm kind of making a sandwich of them. So here's the tail. Here's a loop and here's a tail again. Okay. And we're going to do that. We're going to repeat the whole process one more time. And then we'll fluff out the bow and tie it on. And this is just like I said, a little whimsical. So what's good about this, you don't have to worry with your words which way it goes, you know, upside down and stuff. Um, oops, getting a piece of that pizza over there which is what it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna bring this one in a little bit shorter. We'll say four inches on this one. Two loops. Cut this about six. And remember we said we're gonna do opposites. So it's gonna be a loop on top of that one. This one's gonna be here, this one's gonna be here. Actually, we should have made that bigger because we went six, five. Nope, four is good. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. So see, we're bringing in all those lovely colors that are on in our project. So let's do another one. Again, we're going to layer it up. Do this one at four inches as well. And you can decide, you know, how long you want your bows and how big you want it. So when I say four inches or five inches or six inches, so it's six inches from here to here and six inches from here to here. So your bow is actually 12 inches in diameter um, in doing it as far as your bow loops. So keep that in mind when, you know, you're making a bow. All right. So this one we're going to do loop this, switch these two to there. Okay, and we got one more layer. Now, I didn't do any two inch ribbon on this. I'm going to bring this one in about three, is because I didn't want to bring so much thickness in the ribbon. I wanted to keep it, you know, just small as far as the ribbon goes, as far as the thick, um, the width of the ribbon. All right. So it may not look like a bow, but watch how it comes to life. All right, let me stick my pin in there because you know how these things like to unravel. I'm going to move this pin over here. I'm put it away actually before I lose it and then step on it. All right, now there's different ways you can attach this. Now I ended with the black on top. I can use pipe cleaners or chenille stems. Or you can do it with a twist tie and put one of these from behind. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to use the green just to give it some pop. If I did the black, everything would blend in so much. I want a little pop in the color. So I'm just going to put this on top just like this. And I'm going to pull my bow up, whip it around, make sure my tails are the way my, my things are supposed to be. And I'm just going to give it one twist or two twists. Get this out of our way because we don't need that. 
And then before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look at my bow and start fluffing it to make sure everything is where I want it to be. So you could start at the top, you could start at the bottom, it's up to you. Now we'll cut these in a little bit to make them um, shorter and nicer. But for right now, let's just get them fluffed out here. Make sure you're on the bottom. <laughs> and make sure which one comes next. So we got green here. Here's my green one. Got to find it. Because my tails are so long. There's one, there's two, three, and four. And we're just going to move everything around. So see, it starts coming to life, the bow. And like I said, it's just a little whimsical bow. And we'll fluff it a little bit more once we get it on there. Now, once I got everything the way I want my ribbons to sit on here, then I'll go ahead and I'll tighten it up so that it's nice and tight because we don't want anything shifting around. You know, meaning if it's not tight enough, the bow starts coming out on you. Okay. Make sure which way I twisted it before. Okay, so let's get our, our frame back up here. And I want my bow to go right here in the corner. So let's just get this baby on here and then we'll work our bow a little bit more. Now I'll glue all these. Maybe I should put this in there first. Oh, I think I should. So let's cut this baby off because we don't want this part of it in there. And these are just picks you can find, you know, at your local um, craft store. I don't want the acorns in there either. I'm just going to cut them out. Because they don't quite fit our Halloween theme. Now, I could take this pumpkin out and put this one in. But it might be too much... Glitter. Let's see if I'm going to put the where's my bow. If I'm going to put the bow down here with this coming out like that. I think I'll leave it the way it is. So now this pumpkin here, this little spray, we can do two things. We can just glue it on there, or we can take some wire. Now I'm going to do both. Okay, and the reason why I'm using wire because it would just stay better. Now this is just pieces of wire. I always keep pieces of wire. This is kind of, you know, for these little projects, this is all kind of glued together. So I'm gonna kind of wrap it around in here um, for part of it to wrap it around because I know it's not gonna slide down, if that makes sense. You know, if I just put it here, it may slide off. So this way I can incorporate the leaves in there and tie it in there. So what I'm gonna do, let's get this about even. I'm going to go ahead and just twist this around so it kind of holds it there a little bit. And I'm going to come around once on the bottom, each way, opposite way to hold it there. And I'll place it where I want it to go, and I think right there would be good. Bring this around. Actually, I'm going to take this one off here because my bow's going to be there. There we go. And this one comes this way. And I'm going to bring it back on top and then twist them together. So that way my wire isn't on the back side of this. I always take my wire, I'll crimp it, and I curl it back down and under so that nobody gets hurt. 
and I'll take a little bit of glue, not a little, but a lot, and just put some glue in there to hold it in place as well. And then you can take your leaves and stuff and fluff them around however you want them to be. So let's leave it like that for right now and let's get our bow. Where do we put our bow? Here it is. And our bow is going to sit right there on the bottom of it. And we'll twist tie this. Now I'll do the same with the wire from behind. So this is with the stem. Now you see I'm bringing it more towards the top here. Okay, so that way I can take it and bend it back in here. So again, it's not hitting anybody's windows or anything or doors, wherever you're going to put it. Make them even pieces. Pop it back around in there. And I put a little glue to hold it in place. There we go. Now let's fluff our bow out. Make it look pretty instead of all this little craziness that's going on here. Let's find all our base pieces. And like I said, you can start from the top. So here's my X from the top. Okay. The next color next to that was the orange. But it doesn't have to be directly underneath, just so you could see all the colors. So there's our next piece, our X's, okay? Then we have our green. Bring our green up in there so you can see that, baby. One, two. Spread them out. And I'm missing the tail because it's all the way over here. There we go. There's our X. And then comes our black with our egg candy corn. Oops. Something was falling there. Spread it out. Move some of this green around here. All right. So now you can cut your tails or the ends of your um, ribbons here, however you want to do it. There's my little pumpkin. I have our pumpkin peeking up here. Okay. So if you want them to be, let me see which one this goes to, that one. Hold that just a little bit tighter, a little bit smaller. So now if you want them to be on, on an angle or if you want to dovetail them, it's really your choice. So I think on these, we'll go with the dovetail. So dovetailing is you're going to fold your ribbon in half just like that. And you know, like you see those ribbons that are show, you know, when you win a ribbon and it cuts it just like that. Okay. So we're going to cut each one first and then what we'll do, we'll go back and we can go ahead and see which ones we want to make a little shorter, but we'll get them all cut just like this. Now you can do it where whatever's on the bottom, it matches the length and as you go up, so that way you can see progression on it. Or if you just want to keep them all different lengths, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just cut them and have fun. Of course, the object would be to make sure you cut them all. <laughs> all right. So like I said, this video is a collaboration video. And I'm doing it. Of course, I'm Nona from Nona's Ready Crafts, and I'm Carolyn. And I'm doing it with Melissa from Buckeyes Wreaths and Things and Crystal from Electric Pandemonium. Oops. 
so we're all all three of us are doing a Halloween themed um, oops, decoration for you and we've all chose different ways to do it or different themes to make it fun now let's see if I got them all black orange twice yes green green did I miss any now I'm gonna cut this one back. I like it when it's a little bit shorter. It's almost even with that one. Again, so you can, I like it where you can see the ribbons underneath a little bit more. It was about the same. This is the boring part. <laughs> and let's cut this one down a little. Cut this orange one down a little. Cut this one. I think I've got them all about where I want them to be. Yep. Okay. So that's our bow. I'll probably fuss with this bow more than anything because you look at it one way, it's nice and fluffy. You look at it another way, and it's like, oh. All right, so now with our cat. Now, I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see it a little bit better. So you can see how our nice bow has a little foliage over here just to give it a little something, something. And these have wires on them, so I can bend them all around, you know, make them more this way. There we go. Put the lead, put my tails underneath the leaves to incorporate it a little bit more in so you can see it better. And it brings it in. So you can do that and see how that, that just looks pretty. So we have this up top so that it just doesn't look plain up here. Otherwise it'd be really like everything on the bottom and nothing up at the top. So when this, you know, hangs down, I may put a little glue on these sides, I think, right here to keep this from flopping up like that. It will hold it a little bit more in place. So let me do that while I think about it. Put my little happy finger on. There we go. So that way it's not flopping so much in the wind. Yeah, much better. See, so kind of keeps it a little bit more down there. So, so far we have that. Now I'm going to turn it around to me so I can work on it. And I have a with my spider, my orange spider. Now this guy, we're just going to simply glue him up here on the witch's hat. We're going to bend this hat down a little bit like he's on the top part of the hat. See, I just took it and I bent it down and I'm gonna stick him right there like that, like he's crawling down on her. Put a bunch of glue on there. Put some on his butt. <laughs> there we go, ouch. Again, the glue is hot. Just hold it there for a few seconds to make sure it adheres. Come here, blue strings. Oops. More blue strings. Take the happy fingers off. All right. And I'm just going to bend this down a little bit more as hat. Her hat. There's a wire that runs up in here. And what I think I'm going to do here is just glue down this hat a little bit to keep it more down. Blue is hot. 
and this is made out of felt. The hat's made out of felt. The cat or gnome cat is. It has little whiskers here so you can bend them. They're all kind of wrinkling, not just straight like a normal cat is, which makes it more fun. Okay, so what we're going to do to hold that a little bit more in place, because it's just going to take a little bit, we're going to take clips, and I'm just going to clip it from behind, one there, and one here, just to hold it till it really adheres good. Okay. I have to stick one on Mr. Spider. Yep, stick one on Mr. Spider for right now. All right, so now I want my cat, see how my cat is kind of falling out? The cat is tied. I have a piece of wire here and a piece of wire here. There's actually loops, so there were two loops here which I went ahead and threaded the wire through. Um, she put these little loops on it so you could do that. And there was one up top here. But I want my cat to stay more this way. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna glue our cat down so he stays, she stays more on an angle. because I want it facing more inward, not so much flopping outward. Just takes a few seconds for that to hold. Do, 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 do. And I think this is coming out kind of cute. Sorry, Mrs. Cat making sure you're going to stay. If I have to add more glue, I will. Got her tail over here. Oop. Some glue on my board here. So it stuck to my fingers. Oh. Love hot glue, but it sticks all over the place sometimes. <laughs> have her tail. Her tail has a piece of wire in it and I'm, right now I'm just going to bring it up behind here like I said and I'm just going to hook it over the back there just for right now. I have this creepy little, this creepy little guy and I kind of want him in just sitting in here with her. So now the thing, how we attach it. So there's different ways. You can run like stick a piece of wire in here, run a piece of wire and do it around and then also glue it. I think would probably be the best way to do it because there's no other way to really attach it. And again, I'm using some wire pieces that I had first before I dabble into some other. And I think this one will work. because I always save my wire pieces. Everybody likes to throw some things away. I like to save some things. So I'm gonna bend this wire kind of in half because I wanna use it to come around and decide where I kind of want this sitting on there. I think right there. So what you can do, you take your glue, and this is styrofoam, you can just press in, press some glue in there, and then stick your wire right in there. And stick it in pretty deep so it stays. And then you have it. Now if you want to make this into a pick, if you're putting it in the centerpiece, you can use a dowel or something like that. Make sure where my spider is, because I want my spider facing out. And again, we will glue this, but this is going to give it some way for me to 
have it attached here. If I just glue it, it's just not going to stay. You know, it would probably fall off. So this way it gives it something to adhere to. Or attach it with, rather. And again, twist it. So I'm twisting the wire. I'm going to twist it all the way up to the little one that's even there. Cut it off. Take my wire. I'm going to bring it back around. I'm going to actually make this a little bit shorter. Bring it back around and tuck it in. And when I get ready, when I do the pumpkin, to sit them up, I want them sitting up just like this a little bit more. So I have the leg here of the cat that I'm going to glue it to. That will also help keep the cat in on an angle. And it would also hold my pumpkin in place help with my pumpkin. I'm going to bring my leg forward. Glue down here first. Turn it around. Angle it up. And then let's press it together. Oops. Again, we got to hold it in place to the glue. Takes, dries up a little bit. And see, now he's he's held on by the leg. Now, I'm looking in the mirror to see, in the mirror, in my camera to see if I want him angled up just a little bit more that way. And I do. So, you gotta glue him right here to this top part of the leg. Because I only did by the foot. My bow's getting squished there because I'm holding on to it here. Now I'm going to put some glue, and I'm running the glue on the on the frame along the bottom for the pumpkin. So I just ran a bead of glue like this part of the frame on the bottom for the pumpkin. Sometimes a little blowing will help. And you can always add it, you know, you see it's not sticking because sometimes the felt may not stick good or whatever. And you can go back and you can go ahead and add a little bit more glue and get her tail turned around the right way. I don't want her tail behind. I like it kind of like hanging over. Like she's curling a tail, you know, a cat curls a tail. I like that idea. Okay. My bow did get kind of messed up there, flipping it back and forth, but that's easy. It's a wired ribbon, so you can just fluff it back out. This is some glue strings. Let's turn this around so you can see the front part of the leaf. Bring them up a little bit in here. So it makes the bow kind of more a part of it rather than just putting on top. Oh, I missed it. I missed a piece of ribbon here. And this one, I'm just gonna cut this one a little bit deeper. see so that's not oh let's see i think our our spider's is pretty much in there but it fixes dairy air a little bit bouté Hold that in there for a little bit. And I think we're getting close. We're getting close. We're being fine. Let 
And if you have some glue that's sticking out, you can kind of like peel it off once you get it, everything where it is. The big rooster. All right, now I have these little squiggly things. And these, you can make them long, you can make them short, make them as curly as you want. If you want to make them smaller in the curls, you can. You can just take it and wrap it around your finger. And just make them smaller. If you don't want them as curly as they were, as big of a curl. Got to go the other way now because I ran out of finger. All right, so it's a small curl, so we can stick that in here just to bring some other little glitter part to it. And make these as long as you want, just wrap them around as wherever you want to you make your stem. So we got one, and I'll do this one. Like a snake wrapping around your finger. Boat and strippers. <laughs> Let's get this other part. So see, you can make it as close as you want, spread it out as you want. They don't have to be the same. And then you can pull them apart like this. So it's it's a smaller curl. So see, not as big. Maybe we'll stick some of these in there just to give it a little sparkle on this side because we got a lot of sparkle on this side. Gotta have longer fingers. Now you can do this around a pencil or a pen, something like that if you want to, to make the curls. But if you don't have that, you can always use your finger. Or if you have a little wooden dowel, you can do that too. I'm just curling them all the way because I can always take apart and straighten it out once I stick it in. All right, so we have those three babies. I'm going to turn this around again so I can see where I kind of want to stick these guys. I think I want to stick some coming down like that. Maybe one there. Straighten this one out. Stick one up here and here. And I'm sticking them so you got to make sure you're going to stick them where someplace where it's going to stick to something. I'm just sticking them in right now because I want to see where I want to have them. And I'm sticking them in various levels so it's not all under the same ribbon. like all four in there. Sometimes you can just do three, maybe three. Just spread them out a little differently. Yeah, maybe three. All right, so we know we like where this one goes. Now, if you have a glue pot, which I do too, um, I'm just choosing to use my glue gun today. I'm sticking it right up in there on the bow. And we can pull them out and all after we get them all in here. Yes, I do like it with just three. I think four would have been just a little wee bit too much.
and see it gives it just a little something you see the silver there's one there one here now I'm just gonna let them glue for a little bit just sit for a little bit and then what we can do we can bend them up pull them out this way so that they're not just laying flat in here where this one went. Let's re-glue that. Let's see a better spot for it. There we go. Moving my ribbon around a little bit. Okay. So let me turn it up so you guys can see it. And there you go. So there's the bow. You see it with all the little squiggly things we put in there. There's one there, there's one there. And it's over here. I can't see backwards. <laughs> okay, and there's our cat with our cat with the pumpkin. So I don't want to squish the ribbon, so that's why I'm pulling it back. And then here's with our curtain. Isn't that cute? So you can hang this, like I said, in a doorway. You can put it on your door. Um, what I can do is up top here. Now, who, you know, somebody that wants to purchase this, what I'll do is I'll attach another, give them another piece of ribbon. So if they don't have those two picture hooks, they can have a ribbon that comes up here, and I'll put it with the bow. So that they can hang it from that if they want to um, it will be their choice but I you know this one I can give them the options and some things you can't but this one is one of those ones to give the options to and it's up to the person if they just want to lean it up against the bookshelf somewhere they can do that too so that is our project for Halloween here so thank you for coming to known as nutty crafts and I look forward to you Please, y'all, subscribe to it because there are a lot of good videos on how to make some simple little projects on there with the holidays coming up or, you know, whether it's for school or patriotic, whatever. Um, there's some really cool videos. All right. So thank you and have a nice day.